If you had a tough time getting a cab today, well, there's good reason for it. Hundreds of cabbies were off the road. They were packed into a city hearing on proposed changes to their industry. Live to Tammy Sutherland with the new rules being floated. Tammy? Well, Gora, the proposed changes include new taxi stands and more wheelchair accessible vehicles in the city, but it really could be this new licensing system that could have you paying more and had some drivers seeing red at City Hall. Thank, you, thank you, Mr. Machine. I'm not finished and I ain't shutting up. What you are doing you. is you're grabbing private property in order to become the renters of the plates yourself. Heated opinions about the proposed overhaul of Toronto's taxi industry from people who are for... We support the Toronto taxi license. ...and against the changes. I think it would definitely affect the taxi business. Today's licensing and standards committee meeting had to be moved to council chambers because nearly 600 people signed up to speak at City Hall. And you'll be surprised. There are a lot of people in the chambers, and there are a lot of people downstairs as well. A report on the industry came out last week making 40 recommendations. The first, introducing a brand new license plate system called the Toronto Taxi Cab License. But critics of this change say it will be a bad move for the average passenger, affecting both their wallets and their wait times. So you're going to be standing there at 2 o'clock in the morning looking for a cab, and they're not going to be there because our night drivers are the ones who work out of fleet garages. TTL kills fleet garage. If expenses increase and our um, ridership doesn't, where does the money come from? From the meter, from the customer, from the public. Expenses could increase for cabbies as the city looks to put 290 wheelchair accessible taxis on the road by the Pan Am Games in 2015. Right now, disabled passengers often have to wait hours for a ride. 290 cabs will not get on-demand metered service. It won't happen. It'll still be call hours, days in advance. But many shift workers say the new license will cut out absentee owners and put drivers back in charge, essentially helping them earn a decent wage without having to work around the clock. I don't end up taking home uh, more than $600 uh, a week, in which, and I have to put 12 hours every day. Now the deputations are still going on this hour at City Hall and could continue throughout the evening. Whatever recommendations are approved at today's meeting will be brought to full city council on February 19th. Live on Edward Street, I'm Tammy Sutherland. I'll send it back to the newsroom.